okay, distinguished joint secretary, uh, distinguished executives, Indians and international companies, dear audience. My name is Christophe Arnoux, I'm French, I used to work for Electricité de France and now I'm uh, supporting the EU efforts to develop the links between Europe and India. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here again. It's the fourth time I am the moderator of a workshop, EU-India workshop, and I would like to thank you, Mathieu, for your confidence in me and also Reggie, if he is still in the audience. It's a real pleasure. This year, this workshop will be slightly different from the others. Usually, we have worked on distribution, as Mathieu Curie stated. We have worked on distribution, smart grid, distribution, integration of renewable. This time, we look upwards and we'll study the integration of storage at a high voltage level. So we'll deal more with transmission grids that I will call TSO, transmission system operators. To deal with that, we have an impressive panel. And I thank you all for taking the time to come, to come here. I appreciate that. It's really a, a thrill to have you here and to listen to what you're going to say. This session will be divided in three parts. The first one will be dedicated to the storage seen from the perspective of a TSO. The second part will be dedicated to regulation. What type of regulation and market do we need to facilitate uh, the, the development of grid storage. And this afternoon, we will hear several successful projects being uh, presented. As usual, dear participant, I will be very tough with the time. I would like to give everybody a chance to express what he seems important. And as usual, we are late, so I'll do my best. It's not that I want to be rude, it's just that I have to manage the time. I'm sure you will understand. And before I leave the floor to the speakers, I would like to tell you a very short story. Once upon a time, two individuals meet. One has a bread and the other one has a euro. They decide to make a commercial deal and the one with the euro gives his euro to the one with the bread and the one with the bread gives the bread to the one with the euro. So at the end of the exchange, the system remains the same. Two individuals, one bread, one euro, just an exchange, same system. Once upon a time, two individuals meet. One has a knowledge and the other one didn't have the knowledge. And the one with the knowledge decides to give the knowledge to the other one. So at the end of this conversation, we have two individuals and we have two knowledges. And in fact, we have increased the size of the system without having lost everything. So I would like or my aim at the end of this session is that we have all gained something without having lost anything for the benefit of everybody. So I think it's time to start now. So I will go back to my seat and call the first speaker. Thank you very much.